Hey guys, welcome back to Bugging Out RVing. I'm Kelly, and that's David behind the camera. And today we are doing something a little bit different. Instead of David installing this particular product, I will be installing it. We partnered with Soft Start RV. They sent us a unit. And I'm going to show you a little bit about what came with it. And you're going to see videos of me installing it. So I need you ladies to get out. And it's so easy. You have, you have to do this project. It's unbelievably easy. You could probably do it by yourself. A little help would be helpful. But it's, it's for us ladies. Get off your bum. Come on out. Get on the roof. And let's do this. I almost said soft serve. <laughs> when you get a soft start RV, this is what you'll be getting. The install kit. This is a little empty because as you'll see later, we've already put ours in. You get this quick little reference sheet to go online if you have any issues. Little windy. It's okay. You get the point. And then you also get these super super easy installation instructions this is all you have to do six steps uno dos tres four five and six you know what i mean it's here this is the box it came in you see how small it is so ladies come along crawl up in there and let's get this thing installed so before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about what this soft start is and what it does. It actually reduces the startup amperage of your air conditioner by up to 70%. By doing that, if you have one air conditioner on your RV, it allows you to plug in and run your air conditioner off of a 120 volt outlet or one of the small generators, the little Honda generators. If you have two air conditioners on your RV, it will allow you to run both of them off of a 30 amp outlet. This actual unit from Soft Start RV, it can be installed on any air conditioner. It has a very simple installation, simply five wires, no cut, no splice, and it comes with the installation kit. And it has every connector you could possibly need for your installation. Once you find your model number, you'll go back on the website and you actually click on the wiring diagram link. And it will bring up every brand of RV air conditioner you could think of but you will click on it you will find your number and that will be the wiring diagram that is specific to your unit if by chance they don't have your number you can submit a ticket to tech support or call them give them your model number and they will get a wiring diagram for you absolutely free it comes with a one-year warranty that is extendable to two years for free and I think that's about it. It's time to get up on top of the roof and uh, get this thing installed. Okay, first things first, before we even get up on the roof, you're going to want to make sure that you have your RV unplugged from shore power. All right, we got it all opened up. We got our soft start. We're not mounted yet. So we're going to start running our wires. Step one. Route the blue, black, and yellow soft start wires into the electrical box. Route the brown and red soft start wires to the top of the compressor. And then we're actually going to run under the motor through here and bring them up to the top of the compressor. Okay, we've got all of our wires ran. The next step is to crimp on all the connectors that it shows on the instructions.
turn it to cool 55 degrees and let's see what happens it's running okay Now we'll come back out here and check to make sure our soft start has a green LED indicator, meaning everything's good. Okay, now for the final step, we're going to set our thermostat for the ambient temperature outside, which is about 75 out right now. And we're gonna let it run for about 30 minutes and that's it, we're done. So our install is complete. You can see some of our new wires. Everything fit back on nice and tight after it was pulled off to add the additional soft start RV. And if you look here, we bundled the wires up underneath, brought it back around up underneath, tied in. One little reminder on the unit, you can see the wires are at the bottom. That's to keep rain out of it. So if you're interested in doing this project, ladies, you can get $30 off if you click the link below, we'll see y'all next time. Subscribe for more.